Good morning, this is Sister Esther for Timely Truths and we are sharing today. Our sharing today is found in the book of Revelations chapter 3 verses 14 to 20. Let me read. These are the words of Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were neither one or the other so because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold i am about to spit you out of my mouth you say i am rich i have acquired wealth and do not need a thing but you did not realize that you are wretched pitiful poor blind and naked i counsel you to be to buy from me gold refined in fire so you can be become rich and white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salt to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love are rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and open the doors, the door, I will come in and eat with him, that person, and they will be with me. So have you ever wondered uh, what's the condition of your heart, of our heart before the Lord? So in the church of Laodicea, the Lord rebuked them because of their lukewarmness. They are neither hot nor cold for the Lord. So what does lukewarm means or how does it look like? A lukewarm person or a Christian is someone who hasn't blatantly denied the Jesus but is not also blatantly living for the Lord either. They have faith but no, not action. Lukewarm faith is faith that doesn't affect the way they live. What makes a Christian is the way you love the Lord the way you obey him and commit yourself to him and your willingness to surrender that's and you are always zealous and fervent for him and you have that fire in your heart so you can become a lukewarm christian when you allow your love for god to fade away so a, a church can also be lukewarm church when you will allow reverence of God to slay down, slide down the slope slowly. And you know when that happened, when the presence of the Lord is not there because you know when the Lord is there because you have experienced the presence of the Lord, tangible presence of the Lord. So there is a warning that... Uh, the Bible is telling us that uh, it's dangerous to be lukewarm in the Lord when you are not living to the fullest. You are just hanging around, hanging in there, and you're not fully committed. You are uh, not zealous about God and the things of God. So uh, you are uh, lukewarm when it doesn't the word of god doesn't affect your life amen so just like the ten virgins in the bible when the five has enough oil in extra oil in their lamps so when the lord comes back they were ready for him and they have enough oil to go with him versus those who are other five virgins who has not prepared they were lukewarm they don't have enough oil to go with the lord and they were not ready so we don't want to be in that position and god is not pleased when we are lukewarm because it is leaving uh, god aside and you are separating or distancing yourselves for the lord sometimes you wonder uh, are you lukewarm you can sense this because the things of God doesn't excite you anymore the things of God you're not zealous or passionate about witnessing about attending uh, sometimes you skip church because uh, there are things that occupied now your heart more than 
you love the Lord more than me in the presence of God and fellowshipping with Him. You have no desire to read the Bible or worship the Lord. So these are the things so dangerous because God is not pleased the way you live and He is sick to His stomach that He's about to spit us out of His mouth. But because God loves us so much that He doesn't want us to stay in that condition. So with this rebuke, He said, repent and go back. Let us restore our love for Him, our first love to Him, where our worship is so sweet, our prayers were so consistent and full of fervency, and we're so passionate about Him. We always love Him and worship Him. So, what are the signs of being lukewarm? So, here are the signs of being lukewarm. You are content without Jesus. You skip or it's okay without a prayerful life. No Bible studying or you're always, uh, you may be going to church, but you don't have that fire and passion anymore the way you used to be when you first started and fall in love with Him. You ignore sometimes the teaching and conviction of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you welcome the va and value the teachings of this word rather than what the Bible has to say. And also use, you used to be the voice to advocate people about what the Bible is saying. Now you are agreeing with what the word is saying. Your confidence lies in your possessions and connections and influence instead of your reliance on the Lord. So you expect God to confirm with the will of people rather than us confirming to the will of God. So these are the signs of lukewarmness. I just hope and pray that you're not there. Some of the things that have taken place in the last few years, two years ago, uh, had brought some effect. The pandemic affected us somehow and we're not there anymore. So let us Go back to God and repent and God is loving. He's waiting for us to come back, to be restored to Him in such fervency and such zealousness and such fire. Amen. So how to overcome a lukewarmness? By giving up a lot of things you become accustomed to. So you have to stop these things that occupy so much of your time of your uh, dedication number one acknowledge your need for jesus christ so without him in your life you may have possessions you may have influence you may have everything you needed in this life but without jesus it is not a good journey or it's you don't have peace you don't have joy in your heart that you used to have so life is not worth living without Jesus. So how to overcome delight in His Word and the biblical teaching. Amen. So value also wisdom and the counsel of the Holy Spirit. What the Holy Spirit is telling us and put it into action. Amen. Hallelujah. Prioritize choices that protect and honor your relationship with Jesus. Put God first. Seek first the kingdom and His righteousness. Choose Jesus over and over again and fall in love with Him. It's easy to fall in love with Him, my brethren, my brothers and sisters, because you know what? Love. God is loving. God is so kind. God is so good. He is so faithful. Amen. And God is waiting for us. So let us serve Him with all zealousness, with all uh, humility, with all our hearts, and be on fire. So, thank God we're not in Ukraine. Thank God that uh, we have everything in America. So, don't treat your safety as permanent. So, let our hearts be dependent, be zealous and hot, and Lord on fire for the Lord 100%. Amen. Glory to God and God bless everybody.